Take 12 slash 13. This is one of the few songs on the album where I really didn't have any control over the production, but I did collaborate with the producer, Kublai Kwan, and um, wrote the lyrics and melody to essentially like his instrumentation for the song. And um, I was just in kind of a, a low place writing the song, which is why it came out very dark. Um, but a little fun fact about it, I guess, is that <laughs> what was going through my mind at the time writing the song was um, The Haunted Mansion. So <laughs> that's why, um, especially in the chorus, why I say like a ballroom dance, my phantom floats because I literally had the scene in The Haunted Mansion ride where it's the ballroom and the ghosts are dancing. Sort of, I combine that with like in the elevator when the lightning flashes and you see the guy like hanging above you. Um, that's where that came from. So I also like just love that concept in general. So I was like, like a ballroom dance, my phantom floats atop all you ants. So let's make a toast. It just marries nicely, even though I didn't produce it. I think it fits really well with the tracks I did produce. And I think it's a great track. So that's why it's on there. Yeah, two, two other songs like that were Leaving London, which was completely not made for the album, and then the song Ghosts. And so, you know, Leaving London, I wrote in London when I was going through a very emotional experience, and that song was like pure therapy at the time. I just needed to write something, and so I wrote that song, and I had the opportunity to work with Hello Amnesia, and they brought the song to life. And, you know, after it was all said and done, I, I loved the song so much that I thought it would work really great to, you know, capture the end of the album because the song's called Leaving London and the album ends with Andrew leaving the Inferno. So how I, that was like a beautiful, like happy accident because I was like, okay, what if in the scope of the album, the final ring of the Inferno looks like a Twilight Zone London. That's, that concept is so cool to me and it's so creepy and it just worked perfectly in my head that I'm like, this would be a great ending to the album and it's a great song and it's a song that I would want on the album. So that was after the fact. And then the song Ghosts, I was working with this producer and his name was, uh, his name is Kublai Kwan. We had made this song and I was listening to it and I thought, I don't know, it just, it fit the vibe of the album like so well that I wanted to put it in the album. So I had the song take the place of the song I had originally wanted to be for like the ring revolving violence. The original song for that would have been one that I written called Wrath. Um, and that was from way back when I wrote it for the EP about Seven Deadly Sins, referring to the Seven Deadly Sin of Wrath. I was just gonna use it for the violence um, ring. But I liked Ghosts way more, and I was like way more proud of it, and Wrath just wasn't working out. And so I was like, okay, Ghosts is a pretty violent song. Um, if you've listened to it, if you like know the lyrics to it, it's pretty violent, it fits, so I'm gonna put it in. And so those are more examples of songs that were completely independent of this album and I thought they worked in the context and story of the album and I wanted to put them in. Happy accidents. Yes. Happy clouds. Oh,